to try to kill those tanks. And this is, by the way, at his top expansion, in case you're not with me. Um, you'll notice, by the way, that Protectors die much, much, much faster than Ancients of War do to the tanks, uh, which is why the Protectors are your counters to the air, and the, and the Ancients of War are your counters to the ground. Um, but even having one Ancient of War there in combination with the Demon Hunter, um, and the uh, meager Protectors, or Protectors meager as they are, I should say, um, is enough to uh, eliminate that particular threat. You'll notice at his bottom expansion, uh, Chipotle is already making an Ancient of War. Again, just putting effort into fortifying all of his expansions, having extra wisps available if he needs to repair. Not shirking on anything, just making sure that he, uh, making sure that he puts the effort into fortifying all of his expansions, because like I said, you never know which one's going to be the one that wins you the game. Um, and uh, it's always important to also check the uh, the corners, even if the uh, merc camps aren't creep, or sorry, the merchants aren't creeped. Um, in this case, uh, Chipotle, as long as he was at the merchant, just made a uh, a quick effort, uh, just a quick stop, top right, to uh, to check the expansion. And uh, indeed, he found uh, Holy Human already putting up a bunch of towers there, so he'll know that know that's there for the future. Meanwhile, on the bottom side, we have yet another tank onslaught, um, and. Uh, Again, Chipotle just using his wisps to repair, uprooting his Ancient of War that he placed there earlier, um, so that to make sure that his stuff stays alive. Um, and uh, Chipotle is just going to uproot this Tree of Life, uh, which when you get into the situation where all your all your wisps are already off your gold mine and your tree's about to die, always a good idea to do this. An uprooted tree um, will stay alive much longer uh, due to eating trees um, and wisp repair and positioning and a whole number of other factors. Um, and now, once again, the Metamorphosis timer is back up, and the Metamorphosis, your best answer to towers, but he's going to use that Metamorphosis to take down the uh, the tower attack um, while uh, protecting his tree of life with his wisps and with his eating trees and using his uh, every using his uh, his ar the rest of his army to take down the tanks. You notice at the far top left, Holy Human is going to be putting up one of those corner expansions, so Chipotle will eventually have to be dealing with that. Um, and Chipotle has stopped at about seven Hippogriffs. Um, and uh, and it's uh, the, the Hippogriff game is always an interesting one, because it's a question of how many you make. If you don't make enough, then the Human will just keep making flying machines, but if you make too many, then of course he'll immediately switch to tanks and render them all useless. Um, so seven is a pretty is a, probably on the large side, um, but uh, is a fine number. There's nothing... There's nothing wrong with that, considering that Chipotle's already in upkeep, and he's got uh, he's got plenty of gold to spare due to his uh, his efforts at keeping his own expansion up. One thing you might do, which Chipotle isn't doing right now, is you might use those if you have extra hippogriffs flying around. You should always use them to scout. Have one or two of them just be running a circle around the outside of the map where the where the uh, gold mines around, just Our running that square um, and patrolling building. just to see. Uh, just to see if anything else is coming up that you're not seeing. But obviously, Chipotle's got a lot on his hands. And now that he saw that Inferno right there, he definitely knows that uh, that the Archmage has crept a, uh, a corner expansion. Um, and again, like we see, uprooting the tree, using the Wisp to repair, uh, bringing the Demon Hunter in, using the Ancient of War, all the tools, using it all at once. And again, this expansion is going to come out of this... Well, we'll see. I'm not sure. I actually don't remember whether this one lives. Um, but it's uh, in any event, it's going to be close, and his past expansions have come out alive, and uh, all all thanks to uh, to all these efforts that he's putting into it. So this expansion is going to die, um, but so is the Infernal, which are of course always good to kill. And meanwhile, at his bottom expansion, he's just he's kept his keeper there to uh, to finish off most of the towers, um, and put down a bunch of ancient of war, ancients of war, so he's ready to ready, ready to protect that one as well. As he uh, as he finishes off the tanks at the top expansion and tries to lay down another one, uh, holy human's going to choose to stay on him, of course. But again, this is just a uh, a recurring pattern of using all the tools at your disposal uh, to uh, to do as many things as you possibly can at once. These Lost Temple games are great because they're really great practice in doing all those things at once. Um, and uh, Hippogriffs have finally become useful. He was able to catch Holy Human out in the open um, and uh, and get a nice little uh, Zeppelin kill. Zeppelin kills are always great to have, and Hippogriffs are very useful for that. Um, 
and uh, <laughs> essentially forces Holy Human to mask GB out because he got stuck in the trees there. So, uh, Holy Human is now going to, to bring another assault on Chipotle's southern expansion. Um, and you'll notice these three Ancients of War are going to come in very handy in this particular attack. Um, just a minute ago, Chipotle took a second to make three Ancients of War, and now they're going to be responsible for keeping an expansion alive. And that expansion is going to be a, a huge factor in Chipotle eventually winning this game. So, with all that in mind... It's just uh, it just makes you think about how important all those little small decisions are to put up to put up the ancients of wind to put up the put up the protectors put up the ancients of war um, to uh, make extra wisps for repairing and all that sort of thing. Of course, now that I said that, of course I'd forgotten about the fact that this expansion dies, but the theory still remains the same. Um, and uh, Holy Human did lose a bunch in the process of killing it. Um, so at this point. Chipotle has uh, has taken a second to uh, to get a zeppelin of his own because he uh, he was aware of the fact that uh, that Holy Human had crept one of the cor corners after he saw the infernal, um, and again just using the uh, using the metamorphosized demon hunter um, to do all of the work of taking down the actual buildings and killing the uh, repairing peasants, um, and meanwhile Chipotle just uh, just using now his. Uh, it, his keeper and his uh, bears, which were in the middle, sending them down to to fight off the attempt in the south. So, uh, if you look back at Chipotle's tree of attorney, you'll uh, you'll notice that he's uh, kept that in incredibly fortified all throughout. You might think that he, might, he wanted to spread that spread those buildings out a little bit um, and use them to other purposes, but. In the end, uh, it's very important to keep your tree of attorney alive and tree of attorney alive in situations like these. Um, and if there's a way that you can fortify your other expansions without losing the fortifications on your tree of attorney, that's obviously the best thing. Because if you just switch your fortifications, obviously your opponent's always going to hit the less fortified base. And Zipodi, um, even though he didn't end up needing all that protection in his tree of attorney, if he had taken it away, he might have ended up needing it um, and suffering because of it. So Holy Human now, um, just to uh, continue forcing us to uh, to adapt, um, has now made second and third heroes. So now we're going to be up against something a little bit different. Now, sh now Holy Human is actually going to have units to, units to deal with. By the way, you'll notice in that top left corner, um, Chipotle has again done done something clever, which is just leave leave a couple bear bu bears behind to finish off the uh, the hall. You do eventually have to kill the hall because if you don't, the second it runs away, it'll just make more peasants. Um, but there's no reason to leave your whole army there if it can be better used to something else, which it can in this case, as you can see, uh, south of the fountain here, where uh, where uh, Chipotle is uh, actually engaging in a fight with uh, with Holy Human's army. Um, Holy Human, Holy Human at this point has switched back to flying machines. Um, after his tanks once again be encountered, and this time Chipotle was ready for him. You'll notice those seven hippogriffs were sitting around doing nothing for a long time, but now at last they come in handy. Um, it's uh, it's it's a very complicated process, of course. You know your opponent makes a ton of tanks, your is and uh, your and you and you counter all those tanks. Uh, finally, to the point that he wants to make something else. Um, and then he makes flying machines. Well, you counter those flying machines by making protectors and hippogriffs. He switches back to tanks, your hippogriffs are useless. But when the cycle returns, um, and he's back on flying machines again, now all of a sudden your hippogriffs are really good. Um, and Holy Human, at this point, is finding himself into a situation where he has been countered. Finally.